Good morning, beautiful people. My name is Jennifer Diamond, and I live a whole food, plant-exclusive, sofas-free, gluten-free lifestyle for health and well-being. And today, I just thought I would pop on and just tell you uh, what's going on with me. Well, I've decided to do a water fast at home and I am not a doctor and I am not recommending you do what I do, but I did want to share what I'm doing. I think water fasting is amazing for health and so many benefits. It rejuvenates the cells and gets rid of the, the old cells, the damaged cells, and lets new cells come in for healing and just for feeling good. I've um, been to True North Health Center and I was fortunate enough to be on a 14-day water fast uh, plus a refeed and had some amazing results with some of my chronic issues and my small fiber neuropathy. Although it didn't, you know, it didn't go away uh, 100%. I did, however, gain a lot of my um, ability to, you know, get my life back. And it's been amazing. Um, so if you're interested in a water fast and you're not familiar with it, I highly recommend you talk to your medical doctor, you reach out to True North. Uh, True North Health Center is located in um, Santa Rosa, California. And I know there are other uh, doctors and specialists that do do telemedicine uh, to supervise water fasting, but you definitely should have your water fasting be supervised. So. Enough said. Um, me, uh, since I have had experience and I do do, um, what do you call it, uh, intermittent fasting. I had a, a blank moment for a minute. I do do intermittent fasting where I try to go between 10 to 16 hours, but it's, it's usually 12 to 14 is, you know, what I do between meals. So I'll have dinner and then I won't eat again for at least 12 to up to 16 hours. And the reason that I do that is it gives my body a chance to not be di digesting food. It gives my body a chance to be, okay, there's no more food here. So what else can we clean up or do? And, and so, um, so I like that because I think it offers a lot of benefits. Um, so we've been doing uh, a lot, some traveling, and I've been so busy lately with, you know, all kinds of things, and I feel a little run down, and um, I still have some of my, you know, ongoing chronic conditions, thyroid conditions, Hashimoto's, osteoporosis, um, my small fiber neuropathy, and allergies, and, you know, chronic fungal sinusitis. I mean, I can go on and on, but... Um, you know, I thought doing a few days at home um, might benefit me uh, because I am not able to go to True North right this moment. And I will, uh, if I'm blessed enough to have the opportunity, I would definitely go again in the future. And I love the care that they offer. But for me right now, I just decided to do this. And so I am on thyroid medication. I cut my thyroid med in half. Um, the last time I ate was last night at 5.30, and so it's not been 24 hours yet. It has not. I'm hoping to go for a minimum of 38 hours and a maximum of 84 hours. And there's, there's so much that happens in the body when we fast. So I'm looking forward to having some benefits and healing there's a place where, you know, you're, 
I mean, you want to watch for ketosis and then you want to watch for, um, for uh, when the cells start to flood the system. And so that, you know, that happens for different people at different places, but um, a doctor can tell you all about that. Anyways, I'm noticing so far that I'm tired, but I was tired before I started and a little run down. I have some post-nasal drip, so I'm clearing my throat a lot. Um, I have some new symptoms. As of a handful of days ago, I'm feeling a numb sensation in my right, uh, right arm below the shoulder, but higher than the elbow. And so I'm not sure what that is. I have reached out to doctors and I just don't don't have direction yet. So I thought, well, in the meantime, I, I'll do a fast. And I'm gonna, for me personally, like I'm just sharing what I'm doing, I'm gonna be drinking uh, seven 12 ounce glasses of water per day, which is what they had me doing at True North. And it's based on my blood type, or my blood work, I should say, and you know, my weight and my conditions. And you know, what I'm doing isn't for everyone. So you would need to have your own uh, work up and figure out what works for you. But um, that's what I'm going to do. And the hardest thing about it is resting. I'm not a good rester to begin with. If I feel good, I got to go. <laughs> and um, I only tend to nap when I'm sick. <laughs> so my husband naps all the time. It's, I, I wish I could. But even here where I don't have anything really to do and I it's quiet in my house and I don't have any you know outside commitments my mind is busy um, I did you know have an errand to run this morning I dropped our dog at the groomers and I'll pick him up but other than that I was just trying to sit tight but my mind is is really busy on all kinds of things that are going on you know personally and you know with some projects and um, when I was at True North, it just felt like there were less distractions. Even if there's no distractions, right? I just create them. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Resting and trying to not be going all the time. And the other thing is, true resting isn't watching TV or being stimulated in any way. True resting is laying down and closing your eyes even if you don't fall asleep, that's resting. And it's important for the body to get rest because there's a lot going on inside for it to be busy, you know, focusing on healing and rejuvenating and creating beautiful cells and getting rid of the old ones. So if we're doing, that zaps energy because our body's already doing. So anyhow, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I go live or, um, you know, put content on and hit the like button, you know, post a question below. Have you water fasted before? Are you interested in it? Are you curious about something? Let's chat about it. All right. I'll tune in and keep you posted on how this goes as it goes. So for now. Have a good one, be well, and for me, this is day one. Bye. So this is day two for me, doing an at-home water fast that I don't recommend anybody do what I do, but I'm doing it, and I just wanted to get on here for a few minutes and let you know, um, so far I, I just feel tired. I have no symptoms. I don't have a headache or anything like that. I did have a headache on day two of water fast when I was at True North. So, but I do intermittent fasting and, um, you know, I don't know if that's helping or not, but I, I feel good other than I'm just tired. I do have a little sensation in my right foot, a little numb, uh, like tingling sometimes. And I have the small fiber neuropathy. So, I'm wondering, is that just nothing or maybe the cells that are damaged are leaving, hopefully, but it's just something that I want, you know, kind of watching. Um, so yesterday, oh my gosh, I was so tired and I napped and I don't normally nap. I'm not a napper unless I get sick. 
So I just listened to my body and my body said, please rest. And I said, okay. And we ended up taking a nap. I also kind of stayed in bed mostly um, and then went to bed for the evening at 830. So that was good. I got up a couple times. I got up, I think at one and again at three. And um, that's not abnormal when I'm fasting because I, uh, my understanding is that the body is looking for food. And so you're not supposed to be sleeping. You're supposed to be going and foraging and finding food. So, um, but you know, my body doesn't know that food's in the kitchen. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. Anyway, I haven't napped today. Um, and I've been checking my glucose and yesterday the numbers showed that I was not in ketosis and we figured it would take a few days before I would get there. But today it not only is in ketosis, it jumped several levels. And so I'm really excited about that. According to the monitor that I'm using, my level was 2.0. And um, so it's it's one away from the highest um, therapeutic level of ketosis. So I just pray that and, you know, hope that um, what I'm doing is helping my body with regenerating cells and get rid of, rid of the old cells and damaged cells. And so... I um, just thought I would give a little update and, you know, I'm just going to go until I am ready to stop, uh, but no longer than 84 hours. And, um, you know, if I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling right or this isn't working anymore, then I'll just stop. So I'm being very careful and drinking my water. <laughs> Okay, so this is day three, and I ended up breaking my fast. What happened was, yesterday, at the 44-hour mark for myself, I tested my glucose, and everything was great, and it showed I was in ketosis. I was using a glucose monitor and blood pressure cuff, um, and the, with a little bit of help from my daughter, and so it was all good. And at the 49 hour mark, I started feeling just out of the blue. I just started feeling a little strange. Um, so I got up a couple of times and both of those times I got lightheaded. And so the first time I did it, I thought, okay, I got up too fast because that could happen. The second time I did it, um, was a little stronger and I thought no there's something going on um, and then I also kind of started feeling a little wobbly like just a little like so I messaged my daughter and she said let's check your glucose again and I thought well we just did it a couple of hours ago but I said okay so she came over and we tested it and my um, my glucose my blood sugar was too low. It should be um, 60 is like the cutoff, you know, where you should stop fasting according to what I was doing. And it was 57. Now a few years, a uh, few years. Now a few uh, hours earlier, it was at, I think around 78. So in just a couple of hours, it kind of went down. So we waited 10 minutes and um, did it again and it did go up to 66 which means my body found sugar but um, oh and also the, the ketosis numbers that tell you you know that you're in ketosis I went from like 0.2 to 2.1 which most commonly happens over a few days <laughs> mine happened in like less than 24 hours. So, um, <laughs> whatever was going on in my body, it was racing to the finish line and flooding myself with cells. And I'm hopeful that, um, you know, I, I got what, what I came for, so to speak, you know, and I believe that I did, even though I didn't make the hours that I wanted to make, 
based on my numbers and how I felt, I think I was able to get benefit. So I decided I, you know, could have gone a little bit longer and kept monitoring it. And I thought, no, I'm not a doctor. I'm not being monitored. Um, I'm out. So we broke the fast. Um, my daughter and my husband made some watermelon celery juice through my juicer, which is um, what they had me drink when I was uh, in the water fasting um, health center at True North. And so I drank some of that and um, I felt really good uh, shortly after. I didn't feel that weird feeling. And then I ate, uh, I had some coconut yogurt also um, for the probiotics and it just didn't really have anything in it. And uh, that was really good. I went to bed and then in the morning I finished drinking more watermelon celery and I just didn't feel good yet. So I, um, cause I didn't really eat enough, you know, going to bed that, that food that I had or that drink that I had, um, originally to break the fast was towards the end of the day. So it only lasted me a few hours. So when I got up in the morning, my body still needed more calories. So anyways, I ended up steaming two and a half, uh, decent sized zucchinis, ate all of that. And then, um, um, I had some coconut water and the electrolytes from the coconut water did it and I, I feel great. So, um, and then a little while later after that, I made some oatmeal and I had berries on it with cinnamon. I used the wild blueberries, I had a little bit of, um, mango and some, uh, date syrup and I didn't eat very much of it, but I feel great now. And so I just wanted to share that I, you know, feel like I did a successful home fast. And I, you know, again, I said earlier, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Um, the best thing to do is contact your doctor or one of the, um, you know, doctors at True North or any other fasting place that, you know, cares for you and monitors you. I think that's the ultimate best way to do it. I will be doing intermittent fasting and um, cooking. So anyways, thanks so much for coming along my little journey here of doing um, a home uh, water fasting. And um, I also want to mention that I um, decided to break the fast the way that I did based on my experience at True North. And, you know, for me, I hope to be able to go to True North in the future. I would love to be able to fast there again with all the correct medical care and all the services and the wonderful food that Chef Bravos and um, the other staff create and make for everyone. And um, so anyways, that's all. I don't recommend that, you know, anybody do home water fast um, because I am not a doctor and I am not giving out any medical advice whatsoever. So just, you know, please seek out and find out what's best for you and your body and your situation. But overall, I think water fasting, especially intermittent fasting, is just a game changer. It, it has so many wonderful benefits, but you have to be careful and make sure that, you know, you're being taken care of properly. Please subscribe and hit the like and hit the little notification bell if you haven't subscribed and you want to be notified when I post videos and sometimes go live. So I wish everyone a successful day or night and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.